In this lecture, we will study 3 bit asynchronous counter. Asynchronous counter is also known as ripple counter. We know that for n bit counter, we need n number of flip flops. So, here we are implementing 3 bit counter. So, I have used 3 flip flops here. For counter application, we usually prefer using either JK flip flop or T flip flop because of its toggling nature before studying this we'll study about the truth table of jk flip-flop truth table of jk flip-flop that is we know that In JK flip-flop, when both the inputs are 0, 0, the output is no change, that is Q, Q bar remains same, that is no change. When J is 0 and K is 1, the flip-flop is in reset state, that is Q equal to 0 and Q bar is 1, the status is reset. When J is 1, when J is 1 and K is 0, Q is 1 and Q bar is 0, that is the status is set. But when J is 1 and K is 1, the flip flop will toggle, that is Q will become Q bar and Q bar will become Q, that is toggle. So here three JK flip flops are used. The J and K inputs of each flip flop is connected to logic high or plus 5 volt and here we can observe that the clock input is given to the first flip-flop that is we can say this is a flip-flop the clock is directly given to a flip-flop the output of the a flip-flop acts as clock input of the next flip-flop that is b flip-flop and the output of b flip-flop that is qb acts as the clock input for the next flip-flop that is in this case, the next flip-flop clock input is derived from the output of the previous flip-flop. Let this be the output of first flip-flop. I will take this as QA that is LSB. This is the output and this is the final output. I will take this as MSB. Here we can also observe that here I have shown the bubble input. This bubble indicates the flip-flop is active for falling edge of the clock. If bubble is not shown, it indicates the flip-flop is active for rising edge of the clock. This is called rising edge of the clock and this is called falling edge of the clock. As we are using falling edge or negative edge triggered flip-flop, so I have shown the arrow marks on each falling edge of the clock pulses. So this clock is directly applicable to the first flip-flop. Let this be a first negative edge of the clock. This is second negative edge of the clock. This is third negative edge of the clock. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth and now let us see the operation of ripple counter that is 3 bit ripple counter. Here we can observe that the clock input is given to the first flip-flop where J and K are shorted and connected to logic 1. We know that when J and K both are 1, the output of the flip-flop will toggle. So, when the clock input is applied directly to the first flip-flop, at falling edge of the flip-flop, this flip-flop will be active and it will change its state. Initially, we will assume that QA, QB, QC outputs are 0, 0, 0. So, at the first falling edge of the clock, as we know J and K both are 1, 1. The output of the flip-flop will toggle when both the inputs are 1, 1. So, initially QA is 0. Therefore, at the first falling edge of the clock, this flip-flop is active and it will change its state from 0 to 1 that is it will toggle so here 
the first flip flop will toggle at each negative edge of the clock pulse so this is the first negative edge of the clock pulse it will be high until the next clock pulse when the next negative edge of the clock pulse arrives again this flip flop is active and it will toggle again as we know previously it was one it will go zero now and this will be zero till the next clock pulse that is negative edge of the clock pulse again here it will be active and it will toggle again likewise at each negative edge of the clock pulse the first flip flop will be active and it will continuously toggle as I am showing here. And so on. Now here we can observe that the output of first flip flop is acts as clock input for the next flip flop. It means that at each negative edge of the QA, the QB will be active. So here, this is, these are negative. For each negative edges of the QB, QA, the flip-flop B is active. So initially, the output of QB is zero because when the negative edge of the QA arrives, it will be active. So it is zero till the first negative edge of the QA. So when negative edge of the QA arrives, it will go high and it will be high until next negative edge of the QA. So here this is the second negative edge of the QA. Again QB will be toggle, it will go low and it will be low until the next negative edge. Here again it will toggle, it will go high and again here it will toggle that is 1 becomes 0 and this process will be continued. Now here we can observe that here we can observe that the last flip flop that is C flip flop the clock input for this is output of the previous flip flop that is QB output acts as a clock input for this. So this flip flop will be active at negative edges of the QB. So this is our QB signal. These are negative edge. This is negative edge of QB and this is negative edge of the QB. So this the QC output is zero until it receives QC output is 0 until it receives negative edge of the clock. So it will be 0 until here. So when the negative edge arrives, it will become active and it will toggle. It will go high and this will be high until the next negative edge. Here it will go low. So these are the QA, QB, QC are the outputs of first flip flop, second flip flop and third flip flop. So respectively. Now here we can observe that initially the output of the flip flop is 0, 0, 0. That is this is 0, 0, 0. And here it will be 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Here it is 0, 1, 0. Here it is 0, 1, 1. Here it is 1, 0, 0. Here it is 1, this is 0, low, that is 0 and this is 1, that is 1, 0, 1. Here we can observe this is 1 and this is also 1 and this is 0, that is 1, 1, 0. Here we can observe this is 1, this is 1 and this is 1, that is 1, 1, 1. And here we can observe that after 1, 1 is 0, here it has gone 0 and this is 0 that is 0 0 0 so now I can write the truth table here that is clock input outputs are QC QB and QA that is QC is MSB 
and QA is LSB. Here we can observe at 0th clock pulse it is 0, 0, 0. At 1st clock pulse it is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. At 2nd clock pulse it is 0, 1, 0. At 3rd clock pulse it is 0, 1, 1. At 4th clock pulse it is 1, 0, 0. And at 5th clock pulse it is 1, 0, 1 that is QC, QB, QA. At 6th clock pulse it is 1, 1, 0. And at 7th clock pulse it is 1, 1, 1. Again at the next clock pulse all the values have become 0, 0, 0. That is at 8th clock pulse again the values will become 0, 0, 0. Thus the 3 bit counter will count from 0 to as we know in this counter the clock input is not applied simultaneously to all the flip flops so this is called a synchronous counter as clock input is not applied simultaneously to all the flip flops thank you for watching